your back. You can do it. Get off your back. Get off. Oh, hello. I'm Jonathan Saffron Four, and I'm a writer. Okay, this is George. George is a girl. We have a very special bond. I mean, we practically French kiss. She, she's, we literally French kiss. It slopes down from the park. That's the park. So I think of myself as a novelist. Everything is illuminated and extremely loud and incredibly close. About four years ago, when my wife became pregnant with my um, first son, <laughs> I decided to work on a very different kind of project. Eating animals. Eating animals. Eating animals. Eating animals. The book, which is called Eating Animals. Eating Animals is ostensibly a book about meat, but um, that's not really how I think about it. I think of it as a book about family. It begins with a story from my childhood. When I was a kid, I used to often spend the weekend at my grandmother's house. You want something, a bite or something? When I would go in on Friday night, she'd lift me from the ground in one of these massive grandmotherly hugs. The egg sour, chopped flavor, vegetarian, vegetables, I have apples, I have a bagel, a fourth of a bagel. And in the book I say it wasn't until years later that I realized she was actually weighing me. We believed in her cooking more fervently than we believed in God. Every meal came with lessons. Yeah, just taste it and right. see. Teaching I didn't know was happening until years and years later, until I became or try to become that kind of teacher. You know, the book, in a way, more than anything, is about taking my, my imminent fatherhood seriously. You know, I know what baseball players are taking steroids, but I don't know what growth hormones are being fed to the dairy cows that produce the milk my son drinks. I was stupid and naive about farming. I thought I knew the gist. Everybody thinks he knows the gist. You know it's bad for animals. Everyone knows that. You know it's bad for the environment. I think everyone knows that. But people don't know how bad. It's funny because when I would describe this book as I was writing it to friends, I would say, well, it's entirely unlike anything I've ever written before. But it appeals to exactly the same themes. At the end of the day, it's a family story. Too much. You want to say hi to the camera? What? You don't want a piece of fruit? I'm Jonathan Saffron Four, author of Eating Animals. I hope you'll get a chance to read the book, and I hope that it will mean something to you. I hope it's the start of a conversation. Thanks for your undivided attention. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. That's nothing. Shalom. I'm Jonathan Saffron Four. That's the Jewish one.